don't blame me. Don't tell Corey. Don't tell Corey. Don't tell Corey. Where does this go? Oh, that's not the size for that one then. Sorry, it's, it's we don't have one size. for that. I can I I can just hold it. Okay, cool. We're stealing <laughs> angelfish eggs. Maybe I bring him back like a hundred. He can have a, a whole tank of them. That would be cool. <laughs> on a PVC pipe, much like this. That's his overflow pipe. But Corey doesn't really know that we're taking him. So <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> so we're gonna slide that pipe out. We're gonna slide this pipe in as quick as we can to keep them from getting crushed. I mean, we were thinking about this on, we're gonna put them in, in T and this will keep it from rotating. Right. Right? So I need enough water in the bucket to cover this. You better be fast enough so I don't lose any water out of the tank. Well, we're going to lose some water. I think I'm going to lose my finger. You see how aggressive that male's looking all of a sudden? Yeah, he bit me before. He's ready to kill me already, and I haven't even taken anything. But look at, dude, the pipe's shiny. Yeah, see? New shiny pipe for the you to lay on. Shiny. You know how long it took me to condition that pipe to get an angel to lay on it? <laughs> this is going to have to be quick here. You guys like me? Okay. How do you like him? The male doesn't like you. He doesn't like me at all. How tight is this going to be in here? Shouldn't be that tight. Uh, he's going to kill me. Dude, dude, chill, chill. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I can't swear, right? There you go. Eggs right here. Into the bucket. God, that would have been terrible if one of them would have gone down. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I think it's a little tall. Alright, let's turn it to the left then and I'll cut it down later. Turn it. They won't spawn if you turn it to the left though. <laughs> Dude, it's okay. It's okay. Here, have a plant. Have a plant. It's okay. Have, have a plant. plant. Bring your babies back. That should be about right. Now we gotta get this in the tea. And guys, it's okay if the eggs are out for 30 seconds or so. Won't hurt anything. Wow, it's so pretty. Listening. You, want, you want to know a trick on how to count these eggs? How? Oh. Take a picture, print it out black and white, and take a sharpie and just dot them. As you count them. <laughs> it works every time. Same with fry. It works with fry too. That's how you know Dean the breeder's not cheating you. There was only six eggs, I swear, Corey. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, yeah. he's so confused. Oh no, she's ready to spawn oh, again. Confused. Now we just hope they don't beat each other down tonight. No, they won't. You ate them. We get we gotta throw some food in. She's thin. Oh, he's still mad. I'll get some blood work. Cause you look at her. Come on. Yeah, you go away. Look at her. She's a little bit thin from laying. See, yeah. See the belly. So we gotta fatten that belly back up. Okay. We only have brine shrimp's good. He don't like me, does he? I don't think he likes you, you don't anymore. Think he likes me. Even if I give him food. I don't think he's interested. No. Oh, you want is my hunger. All you need is my pain. Nothing in between. Ah. Back at it. Well, as you can see from my last video, a little bit has changed. I moved the Zils fit the Zils, the Zis filter all the way to the right. I moved the heater all the way to the right. I cleaned all the sponges. So I have the U3 over here, a U1, a sponge filter. I have a pre-filter there and then the AquaClear 110 back there with another sponge in there. So I cleaned it all. It took a whole day to get cleaned up. As you can see, it's still, there's still a little bit of a mess going on here. Trimmed the rest of the belts and everything that was on this right side, just so you can see the fish that you never get to see in my videos. And those would be you have to wait for it. What am I going to do? Am I going to call Miranda? I think it's pretty late, around 10, 11 o'clock. Corey just went in, Dean stopped by, so you saw it earlier. He stole a bunch of the angelfish eggs. I'm just going to have to voice this over. Let's check them out. All right, folks, this is the rainbow fish tank. It's 125 gallons. Had it ever since we rebuilt the studio and pretty much my main tank. 
Um, you hardly ever see anything else but the rainbows because the Valisneria has just, you know, took over. And ever since then, I, you know, kind of ripped everything out, and now you can see the rest of the fish. And that's mainly what this video is about. Um, a lot of Urblax and Rod Eye, some Bosmani in there. Um, a lot of Nubius. <laughs> uh, those are my favorite plants, by the way. Um, so let's talk about the fish that you barely get to see. So, here we go. Um, first is the CW049 Corridoras, also known as the Black Diamond Cory. Now, I first seen these guys at Eric Bodrock's fish room. Um, Lucas loved them so much that he bought some for himself. And um, haven't seen them on the list at the shop, so Bob told me they had these guys on his wholesale list, so, you know, I had to get them. And I hope I just stick with these guys and, you know, I just have them for the rest of my life. Not particularly these ones per se, but, you know, this species, because I absolutely love them. and. It's a pleasure to watch them because they look like cows, right? Now these are the wood cats. Uh, just not much to say about these guys. They're always hiding. Only come out when there's food. Um, this is a rare shot because he's actually just hugged up onto the corner of the tank. Now, don't know really why I put these guys in there, the clay Helena. Uh, the assassin snails, um, I thought they were killing each other but they also could be mating. Uh, I just thought it was a really cool shot and they separated here and just, I guess that's all you can say about that. So up next we have the Peklotia 494. I believe they also call it Paru Plaku. Um, really awesome Plaku. We got these guys at Cataclysm 2017 and they really grown in and as you can see the males, they have the spikes near their butt. <laughs> uh, just an awesome, awesome looking Plaku. Beautiful fish. Alright guys, it's the next day. Um, before I go, I want to show you guys a cool new piece of equipment I got. It's uh, not really for shooting fish, it's a new lens. It's a 15mm macro. A lot of you won't care, but you know, it's what makes the channel uh, magic. Um, what's weird is I can really show you how close I can get. So let me get my other camera here. And let me record. I'm just going to fix this real quick and show you how close I can get to the screen. Excuse me real quick. It might be a little blurry, but check this out. Ready? Oh, I almost dropped it. Boom. I'm touching the glass. I'm literally touching the glass right now. Hopefully you can just not examine my fingernails and stuff. But look at that. This is a Sarah O nip tab. Now, uh, the reason why I'm showing you guys the Sarah O nip tab is I'm about to place this onto the freaking glass and then smush the screen or the lens onto the tank and uh, show you guys some really cool shots. So enjoy this lens real quick. Look how close I am to it. That is crazy. It's literally touching the glass. Isn't that cool? So a lot of cool uses for this lens. I'm just gonna I guess take macros of snails and stuff that don't move real quick because it's all, it's all manual as you can see. Alright guys, remember to hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!